Hi, today I am going to be talking about vaginal flatulence, also known as quiffing. Some people call it VATS. I guess it's a combination of vagina and fats. So this simply describes a situation where trapped air in your vagina pops out, often unexpectedly, making it sound like I don't know if that is the reason it is called quiffing, but I know that quiffing is from an English Scottish word quiff. Quiffing is a natural phenomenon. It happens to every woman with a vagina. The cause of quiffing ranges from having an object in your vagina, object of insertion such as penis, tampon, sex toy, finger, whatever it is that gets into your vagina would make air get in as well and the trapped air will have to come out at some point. So you would often experience this during sexual intercourse or after sexual intercourse. Positions that mean that your pelvic region is lifted above your elbow would also make your vagina open to air. And when the penis is in a diagonal position, there is space around the vagina such that air can get in from there and also come out from there. So this will mean that when there is constant trusting, you know, the harder, harder thing ladies ask for, when that happens, you would hear the quiff, quiff, quiff sound. Some women might find it embarrassing, some might find it distressing, and some are quite indifferent about it. So if you experience this during sexual intercourse, you may want to have a conversation with your partner as to how he feels about it. Another cause of vaginal flatulence is childbirth or during menopause. There is less studies on vaginal flatulence. However, a meta-analysis of 15 studies has shown that women who have had childbirth would experience more vaginal flatulence. That is not to say that women who haven't given birth do not experience flatulence because the pelvic floor anatomy of every woman is different. So depending on individual pelvic floor anatomy, flatulence could be frequent with one as compared to another. Hormonal changes during menstruation and ovulation could make you a bit more prone to experiencing frequent flatulence. So there's nothing of medical concern with queefing. However, there are underlying medical conditions that could either make you queef more or could mean that the vaginal gas would smell. One of them is bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis is an atypical bacteria indicated by a fishy smelling discharge. So when vaginal gas is passed out from that kind of vagina, it is definitely going to smell. Another underlying medical factor could be vaginal fistula and that describes a situation where there is a hole between the vaginal wall and the urinary tract or the digestive system such as the colon. The most common type of vaginal fistula is rectal vaginal fistula where there is a hole between the vaginal wall and the rectum. So you will find loose stools in your urine and you would experience pain whilst having sexual intercourse, the vulva will smell and you would have abdominal pain to accompany that. So generally vaginal flatulence is not a single indication of medical concern. There will be other symptoms around any medical condition. Another medical condition that could affect vaginal flatulence is pelvic floor dysfunction. So what you want to do is to strengthen your pelvic floor by doing the popular kegel exercise. It is what you do when you are having a wee, you know, when you hold your wee a little and then release it a little, that's kegel exercise. But this time around, you're holding your vagina wall for 10 seconds and releasing for another 10 seconds. You want to do that for at least five times a day. So let's squeeze one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten and release another way you can get in kegel exercise is to do the glute bridge exercise the glute bridge exercise is particularly good because it helps you flatten your stomach also increase your bomb yeah i know i've gotten that in and also strengthen your perineum so ladies i would advise that you do the glute bridge exercise another exercise that could help strengthen your vaginal wall is the squat exercise so you want to get that in a couple of times in the days now if quiffing happens because of a sexual intercourse then you perhaps want to assume other sexual position that would enable you not to quiff more but then again if you enjoy those position i bet 
um, the benefit outweighs the risks. So there's nothing you can really do than to enjoy it and see quiffing as music really, because musical instruments would make a sound when you blow air in or allow air to come out. So see your vagina as that beautiful musical instrument that creates sound. Vaginal flatulence is not treatable because it is a natural occurring phenomenon. However, if you experience it quite often and you see it as so embarrassing or so distressing, you might want to seek medical intervention. A doctor might perform some surgery, maybe to help you reduce the frequency, but it's definitely going to happen. The gas do not smell unlike the flatulence from your rectum. So it's something that you can live with. The vagina is an open organ of your body so air will get it and it would definitely need to come out so if it happens during exercise you wouldn't stop exercise because of vaginal flatulence so it's better to just change the way you see it so this is where i draw the curtain today if you found this video helpful please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends do not assume that everybody knows about it because i remember the first time i experienced queefing i was like was a bit embarrassing. I needed to make sense of what I heard because I know that flatulence should be from the rectum and not from the vagina. So you want to share this video with your friends and also get talking about it because there's really nothing embarrassing or distressing about a natural phenomenon such as quiffing. But come on, let's keep that conversation going. As usual, it's a love from me to you. Have a good day.